Welcome to this short Steel Joist Institute informational video. We will be discussing KCS series joists. Typical K and LA series joists are designed to resist uniform loads. Although this is adequate for most joists on a project, joists with concentrated loads, partial uniform loads, or drift loads, it may not be efficient to merely increase the uniform load. Typically, joists are designed for the shear from a uniform load. As you can see, the shear decreases from one end to the other. The SGI specification requires that all webs be designed for a minimum shear of 25% of the end reaction. Also, typical joists are designed for a maximum moment due to the uniform load. The equation is WL squared over eight. It is easy to see that a concentrated load can shift the shear diagram so that it is outside of the shear envelope for a uniform load. KCS joists make it easy to specify a joist with increased capacity for non-uniform loading. A KCS joist is not specified by uniform load, but rather the maximum shear and the maximum moment capacity. All webs on a KCS joist are designed for the maximum shear rather than the varying shear of a typical joist. The cords are designed for the maximum moment. I think this is easy to see if we do a short example. Let's look at a joist with a 40 foot span, dead load 20 PSF, live load 25 PSF, and a joist spacing of six feet. The total uniform load is 270 PLF. The resulting end reaction is 5.4 kips and the maximum moment is 648 kip inches at the center line of the joist. The standard SJI designation could be a 28K7 self weight 8.6 PLF and two rows of horizontal bridging is required. Now let's add some concentrated loads. If the location of a concentrated loads are known, it is easy to do the design at the specified location. However, more often than not, the locations are not known until the loads are installed. So let's look at two possible concentrated load locations and pick a KCS for the worst case of these scenarios. First, let's focus on shear. Let's say two 2.5 kip loads at 10 and 15 feet from the end. This results in a maximum end reaction of 8.4 kips and the moment of 1,076 kip inches at 15 feet. Now let's look at the worst case moment. Two 2.5 kip loads applied at 17.6 and 22.6. The end reaction is 7.9 kips and the resulting maximum moment is 1,173 kip inches. The maximum end reaction from the shear case is 8.4 kips and the maximum moment from the moment case is 1,173 kip inches. A 28 KCS4 can be selected. It has a maximum shear of 8.5 kips and a maximum moment of 1,303 kip inches. Self weight is 16.5 PLF and requires two rows of horizontal bridging. Two last things to remember. The maximum allowable uniform load for a KCS joist is 550 PLF. And even though the cords and webs are bigger, if a concentrated load is not at a panel point, additional web members are required. Thanks for joining us. And if you have additional questions, contact the Steel Joist Institute, visit our website at www.steeljoist.org or contact a Joyce manufacturer. We're glad to assist you.